In this video, we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to use programming to make a simple calculator with the four common operators. We're going to use the languages Python and Java to essentially do the same thing and see how they differ from each other. So let's start off with Python. So we essentially can do that we take in one number, then an operator, and then another number, and then calculate that. By first, we're gonna have a variable x, which will be our first input value in the terminal when we run the program. Then O for operator. Then y for our second number. Then we're gonna use some if statements, which essentially means that if o is equal to plus, then we're gonna use addition. We're gonna add these numbers too other so print and now we're gonna have to add these two however these two will be like not really numbers in the sense of their uh, type so we need to do Find them as integers by just making them, just putting an int here. So we define them as integers or numbers. Then we can use an else if, if the first one is not true. Then we're going to go for this, which will be minus. Let's just copy the last one. So we don't have to write the same thing again. And then division right here. Okay. So if we run this program, if we're taking the first number, let's say the first number is three, three, and then add 12, we get 15, that's right, and if we do the next number, 4 minus 5, we get minus 1, okay, 6 times one let's do six wait to run the program six divided by two we get three okay so yes kind of simple right putting one value then operator another value then so uh, if one is true we do this so if something else is true we do that and so on and so forth for all the four now let's move into java so 
Yellow one. And Python. Or kind of similar in the terms of they're both object oriented, but they, their syntax is a bit different. Essentially, in Java, we need to write a bit more lines to do the same thing in this program. So, first off, we're gonna make a class which will, will be calculated. an int. No, here we can just don't declare anything, but we need to make sure that it is an int afterwards. Here we just will declare it immediately, which is our input. So next int. And then we have a string, which is our operator. We take an input dot next. And this essentially means that it's a line of text or a piece of text while this int is a number. And then in y, we do the same as input x. Okay. Now we can here do if and else if, just like here. But we're gonna try something a bit different. It's called switch case. So this essentially means that if our operator, depending on what that is, we're gonna have a different cases instead. So if it's a plus, we do, we wanna print that out. So 
let's run that. Works. Where else we get an error? Like so. Okay. So let's do three plus. Seven. And we do it again. Let's do five times three. Oh, get it ready quickly. Five times three. Fifteen. And let's do four minus. Two and then let's see six divided by oh, we got a lot of space three is two. Let's just run that again. Six. So we essentially did, did the same thing, but we just written a bit differently. So I hope this was helpful for maybe understanding a bit more about programming or how to write it or how it works. And um, maybe it was just relaxing, I don't know. Anyway, 